Welcome back to part 34 of the Bugatti Blade design here. All right, so let's continue with our project here. All right, so um, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to close up this section here, finish up this section here, create the uh, windshield wipers and the, um, the gap gas filler uh, inlet here all right all right so let's get started here and uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to grab a 3d sketch and that's going to be a 3d spline and I want to start from uh, this corner here and I'm gonna bring that corner all the way up to this point here press escape and uh, what I want to do is I want to click on this surface here, hold control, and then click on this line here and make that tangent. Okay, and then I want to click on this line here, this edge, hold control, and this line, and make that tangent. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and click on this edge, hold control, and make click on that line and make that tangent. And that almost drops it right where it needs to be. So let's just double check from the top. That looks good from the top. And looks good from the... Uh, it's almost... It's right on the edge where we want it to be. Alright, so press OK on that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go, we're going to go to surfaces. But first, we're going to exit the sketch. And then we're gonna go to surfaces and just gonna do a full surface from this sketch we just made and we're just gonna select uh, all these edges here and it will fill that up uh, press OK we don't need to add tangency so press OK okay and then now we have this uh, space here so let's bring let's bring in the uh, edges with lines with edges here and then we also gonna come up to the future tree and bring in all our planes here so hold control and then click on these planes uh, let go of the control and just press show and it will show our planes here so I want to make a sketch on the top plane here so let's drop into normal to profile And uh, what I want to do, I want to grab a spline and I want to come from uh, this corner point here all the way down to this corner point here. Okay, and I want to add a whole bunch of um, control points, right? So let's add one here, add one here, add one here, here. And here, exit the sketch, and click back on this line and bring in our control polygon. Right. So these are the points that we are after. So let's click on that. And then now we're just going to uh, create that small surface there. Let's pull this somewhere here. Let's pull it back to about here. Okay, and then we're just gonna pull this down a little bit. And that's exactly the surface uh, we are aiming for. Um, we can probably make that a little bit sharper on this end here. Okay, so we're gonna go with something like this. I'm pretty happy with that. Exit, uh, press OK. And then we're gonna jump into surfaces and we're going to trim out this section here. Okay, so our, our sketch tool, our trim tool, it's the sketch itself. And then we're going to remove this area here. All 
Okay, all right. So the next thing I want to do here is I'm going to drop a line, a 3D sketch line from this uh, surface here. So let's go to sketch, 3D sketch, and we're going to grab this line here. And I'm going to bring that line from about here. And let's just uh, jump into this axis here. Okay, exit the sketch. And let's just have a look at that line. How's that looking? So, right, so we want to pull that line up to be somewhere about here. So it have a little bit of draft. It will have a little bit of draft from this angle. And let's just uh, have a look from the top as well. So it says parallel to Y and Z. So delete that. So now we can move it this way. A little bit. Okay. So I want this to be somewhere around here. Okay. And just double check again from the front. And that looks good. Okay. And let's just jump back into the top here for a second. And then let's just pull this down if we can. Well, if you didn't have that here. Okay, we're gonna go with something like this, and if anything, then we can extend this surface. But uh, actually, I'm pretty happy that it is uh, really gonna need that much inlet, anyways. Okay, so <clears throat> exit the sketch. All right, so let's uh, jump in here and create a surface here. So let's go with our boundary surface. And then let's click on this uh, edge here and this line. And we're just gonna move this point up to here. Of course, we need to flip these connectors, hopefully. Flip connectors. Okay. And we're just going to adjust these lines from the top. So let's jump to the top section here. And then we're gonna leave that somewhere about here. Maybe a little bit here so we can have a more aggressive surface on that one. Somewhere about there. And this one somewhere about here. I don't want to be too aggressive on this end. Right, so okay, so that's uh, pretty good here. Uh, we're going, not going to add tangency on this drop here. So I'm going to press OK. All right. And then our next thing is going to be our boundary surface between this edge and uh, this edge here. Of course, again, let's try flip these connectors. All right, that looks a little better. Okay, and we're going to add tangency to face on this edge. Just want to make sure that we curve that we are curving that way. And then we're gonna try to pull this point up until it meets that point. Okay, something like that. And we don't have that rip on that. That's good. And let's have a look at the surface. Okay, the surface looks fantastic. Alright, and now we're going to jump into this uh, edge here. So boundary surface again from uh, this point to that point there. And we're going to add tangency to face on this corner here. And then we want to make sure that we are curving in that direction. And let's see how that surface looks.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. It's very aggressive. I love it. And then um, we're just going to mirror this over to the other other side, right? But first, let's go to knit and let's knit these uh, surfaces together. So this one here, this one, this surface, and this small piece here. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're just going to mirror all of this over to the other side. So mirror front plane for the mirror plane, and then of course bodies to mirror. Okay, we're looking good. All right, so let's uh, save the project here. All right, so now let's uh, take off the edges. So we have a look at the surfaces. And it looks pretty good. We can add some fillets on these corners if you want to. And have a look how they look. So let's go to surfaces again. And let's knit these uh, surfaces to the bonnet. one surface good all right so let's try and add some fillets on this corner here let's try one if we can do one or not. Let's do fill it on this edge here. And even that's not going to happen. Uh, we're probably going to come back later on and create a face fillet on that or we figure something else out. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so uh, let's uh, quickly um, have a look at this one here. So if, as we can see, we have a stop. Uh, we have a wall here, which will the uh, Bugatti logo will go. All right. So let's see. let's create that small wall there. Okay. So to do that, let's go to 3D sketch and let's grab a spline. And we're gonna go from the somewhere here, right? And we're gonna just gonna go all around there. We're just gonna go all around these edges here, and then um, hopefully we're gonna stay as good as possible, very close to that edge. So let's uh, click on these edges here and uh, go all the way down. And hopefully we're going to be able to find this point on this side as well. I think it's probably somewhere there. Uh, exactly. All right. So exit that one. And uh, what we're gonna do is grab a straight line and then grab that straight line from this point to that point. Okay, and we're gonna create a uh, fillet fill surface from this sketch here. So let's jump into fill sketch. And that's a one, one uh, surface now where, the, where our logo will be uh, essentially. Okay. So what we can do, we can come in here with this surface and we can extend this surface a little bit. And 
and just pull it down a little bit. And press OK. All right, and that looks a lot better. Let me just uh, first. Okay, and then we will add the logo some when we finish with everything. All right, so um, let's save the project. Okay, and then let's get on to creating the windshield wipers. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to add a solid body on this area here where we create our mechanical uh, windshield wipers onto this window here. All right, so it's going to be straight up. It's going to be straight. It's not going to face this direction. So it's going to be completely straight, which is make it easier. Well, we can make it that comes this way, but let's just make it straight. It's more sportier. All right. So let's grab, let's make a plane off of the top plane here some lightning like that and press okay okay and then let's make a sketch on this plane 18 and by pressing the space bar and jump on the top of that of course i want these to face that direction and then i'm just going to grab a circle and we're going to drop this circle and make that about that size. And we'll pull this up a little bit more. Okay, so that's gonna be a good, um, maybe if we make it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. Let me pull it closer to this edge here. Okay, that looks good. And then uh, let's jump into surfaces and extrude the surface uh, sketch. Let's extrude, extrude the sketch. And if we're gonna go to up to surface on this surface, okay. And it will follow all that line, all that body that we just created on that bonnet. Press OK. Okay, that looks good. And now we're going to do a bunch of things. But first, let's hide plane 18. And uh, let's make a sketch on the front plane. And let's jump into the view. Uh, before we do, let's uh, bring up our section view. So we take half of our uh, car up so we can get a lot more close up with that small part there. Okay, so let's make a sketch now on the front plane, which we are already in. So let's uh, go this way here. And what we're going to do is grab a straight line. And we're just going to cut them, cut it right over here. Okay, let's go to surfaces, trim surface, and we're going to trim out this uh, rest of it that we don't need. Press OK. Okay, and once we've done that, once we've done that, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to fill surfaces and we're going to select uh, this edge here and this edge here on this side. Okay, and then uh, we're going to press OK. And I want to make this into a solid body, so to do that, I'm going to knit this together first. So I'm going to select this uh, surface here and on the lower section, if I select from the lower, then yeah, that, that, that is our surface that we just created. So knit these two together. All right. And then now if we go to fill surfaces and select the top circle and press OK. And because the lower section and the circular section is knitted together, now we can knit the whole thing together and then we can create a solid from that object. So now it's a solid body. All right. 
So now that it's a solid body, we have something to create our windshield uh, wipers on too. So let's go ahead and do that. And because it's a solid body, now we can create a sketch on the top of that uh, body. So create a sketch, press normal to profile. And we're going to convert the circle and we're going to grab a uh, center rectangle and uh, grab the center rectangle and pull it out to about to about um, let's say about here and we're gonna come in with our uh, snip trim tool and we're going to trim out the inner sections here so we'll be left with those two half on both sides all right press ok and then and we're just going to go to futures extrude and we're going to extrude this a little bit okay something like that so our windshield wiper will be spinning inside this uh, body Okay, that looks pretty good. And because this is a solid surface, what we're going to do, we can make a sketch on this one. Jump into view, of course. And we're going to grab a, a three-point arc and just go from this point uh, to this point and bring it up to that edge here. And let's grab a line and just go all the way around it. And then we're going to go to Futures and Cut Extrude. All right, and we're going to select Mid-Plane here. So Mid-Plane, so we can uh, trim out on both sides, right? Press OK. OK, so that looks good. Okay, I also want to trim a little bit out from the sides as well. So let's make a sketch on the right plane from this angle. Okay, and then we're going to grab another uh, three-point arc. And we're going to go from uh, this point to this point here. And we're just going to go something like that. Okay, and the same thing here. Let's go from this point all the way into this point. Okay, and then let's go to features and connect through it. All right. So our, our uh, little holder here is now looks a lot better than uh, before. It's a little bit of a diamond shape. Okay, so uh, let's uh, create a plane uh, between these two here. And it's going, we want this plane to be exactly on the middle. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to planes and we're gonna select uh, this face here and this face. And that will automatically create a plane right on the middle here. And press OK. Okay. And then uh, we're just going to create a sketch on this one here. So create a sketch and then get into profile here. Okay. So, first of all, I want to get a, a circle. And I want to get the circle something like here so it will roll obviously okay and once we have that circle I'm gonna grab a uh, I'm gonna grab a spline and I'm gonna make that spline come out one from here and I want to make sure that I don't go all the way up with this body 
So I'm just going to come all the way up to this section here. And I'm going to give this a bit of profile, believe it or not. And a straight line. And a spline. Going to this point here. And give this a little bit of profile as well. That's okay. And just we're going to trim out everything that we don't need. Okay, and let's jump to futures here quickly and then do an extrude. Now, of course, we want to select mid plane. So the, our extrude will be uh, the same size. So let's go here and select one. Let's have a look at that body, right? So I want to make that a bit thicker. That looks good. Let's have a look. That's a lovely body. Maybe make it 1.5. Okay, and press OK. Okay, so that looks a little bit blocky. So for that reason, we're gonna make a sketch on this side. And then what we're going to do, we're gonna cut out some patterns here. So make it look a bit cooler. Okay, and I'm just going to go to features and uh, cut extrude. Cut all the way through. All right, so now it looks a lot more, uh, a lot more sporty. And then we can also add a chamfer on this edge here. Bring that up a little bit. Make that five. Actually, we can change the angle on that one a little bit. Let's edit the feature. I can't change its angle from 45 degrees. Let's tilt it down a little bit more. Okay, so that looks a lot better. All right, perfect. So let's make another sketch on this plane 19. Let's get into a view here. And now we're gonna create the windshield, actually the windshield uh, wipers. So let's grab a line. And we're gonna get, grab that, uh, so not a line, it's actually a spline. So we're gonna grab that spline and then, so let's make that uh, windshield wiper going from 
here up to here something like that and uh, let's give that a profile as the windshield itself okay and then uh, let's grab that straight line and let's get straight as close as possible with that one and let's grab the other spline and go all the way close as possible to that windshield here straight line from here to here close this up here and we're going to key, we're going to give this uh, line here a profile of course so bring this up to the edge of the windshield nice and close okay and then now we're just going to extrude that on the mid plane let's extrude mid plane mid plane and we're going to make that one and we're gonna have a look how that looks maybe make that well uh, about 0.5 0 0.5 that looks a lot better press ok okay so that's our windshield wiper right there and then we're just gonna cut out some from the top section area here so make a sketch in that so actually it doesn't look like a knife but it actually looks like a windshield wiper so let's grab a spline and we're going to make that spline going from here to here. Bring this up to about here. And uh, let's grab a straight line to about here. And let's grab that other spline from here to here. Let's close this up with a straight line. And let's give this back to profile that Okay, and then let's just do an extruded cut all the way through. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, that looks a lot more like a windshield wiper. Good. Um, what we can do here still is we can do a chamfer, and we can do a zero point one on this edge. And we can add one on this edge. And so we can raise that a little bit. So 0 0.2. And let's close that up in a nice triangle sh triangle shape. Perfect. So now if we zoom in, we can see it actually looks like a virtual wiper. Good. Okay, so let's get out of the section view here. And that completes our windshield wiper. Let's get the rid of this uh, plane here. And we can also make a hole all the way through on this one and add a bearing in here, which we will. So let's save our project.
and then let's create the hole for our uh, fuel inlet on that corner there. So let's make a sketch on the right plane here and press normal to profile. And then we're going to grab a center line and let's grab on this line here, this edge. Okay, so we're gonna try to stay be perpendicular with that one and drop it somewhere there. Okay, and that's where our that's where our plane is going to be. So let's exit this sketch here for a second and then let's jump onto plane here and select the line and then select the point here. It's okay. Alright. So let's click on this uh, plane here and make a sketch on it and press normal to profile and let's create our uh, gas inlet somewhere here and it's going to be something like that about that big and because that is a solid body we can cut straight to the body so let's go to futures and cut extrude and we're gonna cut straight to that. Okay, so that's e. That is our uh, petrol. I mean, that is a gas inlet right there. And uh, the one, one more thing we have to create with this one, we need to create. A, drop this into. A, we need to create a wall around a bit lower. Drop it a bit lower in. So the way we're gonna do that is. We're gonna go to sketch and then 3D sketch and we're going to convert uh, this edge here, right? And we're gonna grab a center line and make sure we click on that line that we just created and press tab to be in the right pole direction. So that's going to be the direction of our pole. So let's get to the front view here so we can adjust the direction of all here and she's going to be something like that okay let's exit this sketch here for a second okay and let's just jump in here real quick and then uh let's go to surfaces and extra surface uh, let's exit everything first Okay, so extrude surface, and it's asking for the sketch to be extruded, which is going to be this here, and the direction is going to be this direction of pull line that we just created. So let's pull this up a little bit. Okay, and we can make that actually into three. Okay, and then press OK. So that creates that wall around that we were looking for. And what we're gonna do and again is a full surface and select this circle here. I fill that up. Okay, and then um We are not happy about that uh, pink line over here, right? Let's delete that field surface. Hopefully get rid of the pink line. All right. So I'm going to exit the whole model here and come back in because we, because we did save our model. And then, um, I'm going to come back to it and we continue from there. Actually, uh, we're going to, we're going to do that in the next tutorial. So the only thing we have left to do in this part is to create this wall and create another extruded cut. And then uh, we just need to get rid of the pink line. All right. So let's get rid of this plane here and this line. You probably don't have the pink line only me because it's in kind of a solid works glitch but no problem at all all right so thanks very much for staying me staying with me in this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to create 
um, some another cut here and probably some walls and then uh, once we have that uh, we're going to get on and create the spoiler the real spoiler and the center spoiler here and then once we have these created we're gonna get into the wheels and create the wheels all right thanks very much and uh, see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe thanks very much bye